Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady and Principal Owner of Everett Tax Solutions, where we help you win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. All right. We are continuing, continuing our series on cryptocurrency. One of the things that happened during the pandemic is that a lot more people got involved in cryptocurrency. And so there are a lot of people that have a lot of questions. And so I am doing this series on just basic things that you need to know about cryptocurrency, basic terminology you need to know about cryptocurrency so that you can definitely start to operate from a place of education and not just, you know, just like gambling <laughs> kind of thing. All right. So today we are on letter D. D is for D5. So DeFi is short for decentralized finance, okay? And this is a broad term that um, that talks about, you know, financial services from, you know, peer-to-peer -peer financial services. So the way that DeFi works, it's a pr primarily on Ethereum. And with that, you can do a lot of things that you normally need a bank to do. You can earn interest, you can borrow, you can lend, you can trade assets and, you know, do all of that without the use of a third party. And it's faster and it also doesn't require all the paperwork as like you're dealing with the bank. But now one of the things that I will caution you against that, um, you know, with, with DeFi, you're pretty much in control of all of the process. You're in control of who you're dealing with, the amount of money you're dealing with, all of those things. But with that, there's no insurance, right? So the thing about DeFi is that you really don't have to give up the information of who you are and the person you're dealing with doesn't have to give up their information either. So in that way, it is anonymous. So there's no applications or anything like that. You just have a wallet and then you can, you know, operate from peer to peer, right? Um, there are lending platforms that, that the borrower pledges a certain amount of cryptocurrency. And so it, then if they don't pay their loan back, then they automatically lose that collateral and it belongs to you. So when you think about the, the lending aspect, this is one of those things where, you know, you think about it, if you go to a bank and you need a loan, you got to fill out everything down to your blood type. You also have to, um, you know, detail what kind of collateral that you have that the bank can take if you don't pay back your loan, right? And there's this whole process that goes on there. Well, with DeFi, that whole process is then tossed out the window. Um, you know, even with trading assets, you think about, you know, having to go through the stock market, right? You got to go through the stock market. You got traders, you got all these people that have these nice buildings and salaries and such that require all of these fees. And with DeFi, even though there can be some fees, they're not as expensive as dealing with a third party bank. So those are some of the benefits of DeFi. Now, the, and the other thing about DeFi is that, you know, it's on, um, it's on the blockchain. So it is open to everyone. So it's very transparent with what is happening in those transactions. Unlike, you know, dealing with the bank, you kind of hope everything goes right. And, you know, and so, but the problem with, I say problem is just for lack of a better term, is that there's the volatility there. And again, you are, you're essentially on your own. So there's no consumer protections really when it comes down to dealing with crypto cryptocurrency and DeFi. You really have to be careful because there are tons and tons of crypto scams out there. And you just have to be careful and really know what you are dealing with. There's no FDIC insurance for cryptocurrency on DeFi. And you know, and you have to, as the owner, you have to keep track of your records. You have to know your basis. You have to report your income. You know, if you, if you lend 
cryptocurrency and you earn interest, that's reportable income. If you sell your, you know, your your Bitcoin for Ethereum or Ethereum for Litecoin or Ethereum for an NFT, that is also a taxable transaction that has to be reported. So I just want to make sure that you understand that yes, with DeFi, you take more control of the uh, of the transaction. There are no third party people, which means no third party fees and you know that long drawn out process i mean think about it if you had to wire money you know like five years ago if you had to wire money you have to go through a bank you have to pay these wire transfer fees and it may take two or three days for the money to land wherever it's going right but with DeFi. that's not the case you decide to send your money to someone it's gone there's no wire transfer fees. There's no waiting two to three days. There's no getting a whole another institution involved. It's between two people. And so that is really the benefit of, um, of DeFi. And this is why people love it so much because it's cutting out the middleman and cutting off paying those fees. I mean, you know, who among us, especially in the business world, we just love paying those transaction fees, don't we? Totally love it. No, we do not love paying those transaction fees because they get higher and higher every year. And this is why more and more people are going to are, are going to places like cryptocurrency because then you we are dealing globally and you don't have to go through all of the things. Like I said, the application process and you know, you might get denied and all uh you don't have to go through that with DeFi, but again, you are on your own. So don't look for, you know, if you get caught up by a scam, don't go look for the government to go chasing down whoever stole your crypto. That's going to be on you. Okay. So that's why I really want you to understand. But yeah, I mean, there are apps you can use to do all of, um, to, you know, to do these transactions and such, but just know that you are ultimately responsible for knowing who you're doing business with, where you're sending your crypto, if you're not sending your crypto to a thief and all of those things. All right. So DeFi, that's it. You guys decentralized finance. This is the way that you, that, that facilitates doing peer to peer transactions really without, um, with avoiding the third party going around the whole traditional banking system and all of that kind of red tape. Okay. So hope that helps you out. Thank you guys so much for tuning into home Biz tax talk and we will see you all next time. Bye.